Hello, welcome back to another video. My name's Amy, if we've never met before, and today I am prepping and packing a plant for a trade. So I am doing a trade with Michaela from Please Send Nodes. I'll have all of her details linked down below. And she is interested in receiving this top growth point of my Anthurium argirio statum yasuni. If you're a regular here, you know I like to call him my Anthurium Arge because it is that much easier to pronounce. <laughs> so we got chatting on Instagram. I'm trading this Anthurium for another Anthurium, which at this very moment in time, I can't remember what type it is. Nope. <laughs> my mind is blank but I'm trading for another anthurium so I'm super excited but what you're gonna see today is me unpotting chopping it because there is another node on this one so I'm gonna chop it off package it back up and get it boxed up and shipped out to Michaela and then when I get my plant from Michaela I will be unboxing it with you and that'll be the second part of this video so let's get to it I haven't packaged a plant in a really long time. <laughs> I think I remember how to do it. <laughs> I've got my uh, my trusty large box here that I'm just going to tip this into and see what we're working with. I'm hoping it comes out fairly easy. There are some roots that are quite quite stuck to the glass. Let's just see. Let's see what happens. Well, that is out. <laughs> so I did ask Michaela if she wanted me to remove it, chop it, and then like reacclimate it before shipping it out because obviously this is quite a lot of stress, isn't it? Like I'm unpotting it, I'm chopping it, and then I'm shipping it. That's a lot of stress for the plant, but um, she just said, let's just, you know, rip the band aid off, as they say, and just go for it. And if anybody, I think it'll be fine, but if anybody can like help a plant help a plant settle in after this bit of stress is Michaela. Her collection's incredible. So I've had to unpot it because this root here attached to this node has gone right into the soil. So I want to know how far this root goes and whether I can like give her a bit of a root system, basically is what I'm wanting to know. So I'm just gonna clear some of this substrate off to see to see where it goes. This is such a chunky mix. It's pretty much just semi-hydro with some like bark and leather added to it. It's like, I can't tell where this root ends. I'm struggling to see. Ooh. Oh, no. Like it's split off into secondary roots, which is great, but I can't tell which ones, which ones are, which ones belong to what basically is what I'm struggling to tell. a whole lot of uh, frowning going on at the moment. Well, hey. Okay. It looks like this single root has branched off into this kind of mass here. I think that's what's happened. So I'm now gonna cut this. And I will plant this section back up because there is, I mean, there's a couple of nodes. I don't know if they've all got um, growth points on them, but there's definitely a couple of nodes there that will be worth saving. So next bit is packing this root system ready. Let me give you like 
a closer look. I don't feel like the lighting's very good, is it, today? I'm sorry. So this is... This is the root system that she has attached. I think, I think it's all attached to that one long root. From what I can unpick. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is we both agreed we're gonna wrap the roots of each plant in moss and get it packaged up. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I've changed the angle. I'm hoping it's a bit of a better like lighting situation and also a bit of a better angle for you to be able to see the, the prepping and the packaging of the plant here. <laughs> right, okay. What I've decided to do is we are both sending it in sphagnum moss. I'm just, I wanna make life as simple for myself as possible. So I'm actually gonna like pot it in here essentially so i'm gonna wrap the roots in the moss and then put it in the pot and just secure it in there so i've got my soil ninja sphagnum moss which is that lovely pink moss that they have um i'm literally just gonna grab a bundle of moss break it up a little bit wrap the roots in it so that they stay nice and hydrated i haven't done anything to the roots like I haven't sprayed them with water or anything like that i'm just going to wrap them in there and i'm going to wrap that longer one around <laughs> just around the the whole bundle and then slide it into the pot And then secure that there. And I imagine Michaela will transfer it back into a pond substrate. So there we go. Look at that little, can you see this pink? Look how cute that is, <laughs> this pink bit of moss. So yeah, that's what it's looking like in the pot. Okay, I'm just gonna use this tape, which is terrible i hate it when tape does this when it just like rips of its own accord oh so annoying i'm gonna secure it as upright as i can not like leaning over the pot because i want it to take up as little kind of like space as possible so that i can fit it into the box that i've got to put it in i'm reusing an amazon box because i think i'm pretty sure this is going to fit pretty perfectly in there oh okay no it doesn't it is a little bit short the box is a little bit short hang on might be able to fix that if i put the actual plant further into the moss than it currently is yeah there we go okay so i've just pushed the actual node into the moss more and i'll put the tape over that bit now let's see if that fits. Oh, that's the perfect fit. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go one step further just to like protect it. I'm going to wrap it in this like corrugated card. So I'm gonna make it its own little protective funnel that fits perfectly snug to the box. I've got my cardboard, measuring it to the box. And I'm just gonna cut it so that it's exactly, exactly the right size. And then I'm gonna put the plant in here and make it as snug as I possibly can. So, cute, cute, cute. I will tape the pot I'm going to tape the pot to the cardboard so that it doesn't move around inside the cardboard. Although this is a pretty snug packaging situation, so uh, it's probably not going to have too much room to move around at all. And I did grab, so I have some of this like, <laughs> it's, it's hamster bedding or like pet bedding for hamsters, mice and dribbles. <laughs> But it was, um, I used to have a shop, a plant shop, and 
we were trying to be as sustainable as possible so we were using this instead of like the plasticky polyfill stuff because this you can like put in your compost and it'll be fine um but we ended up moving to like biodegradable air pillows but i still have some of this left so i'm just going to use this to like cushion cushion around the leaf make sure that it's protected even though as i've already said this is quite a snug situation so i think it's probably going to be okay <laughs> but i just want to add a little extra a little extra padding for it there's fluff going everywhere can you see it <laughs> kind of what it's looking like then I'm gonna wrap it and the aim is that you're gonna protect the leaf and the petiole so that it doesn't snap or rub against anything. See, all cushioned in there. Now I'm gonna take that. Wow, this is a really, uh, really bad job. I'm so sorry, Michaela. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, that's all taped up and secure. <laughs> now I'm gonna put it in the box, which is gonna be a real lovely snug fit. There we go. And when you package in this way, when it's like nice and snug, it really doesn't matter which way this goes. Like I will still put arrows on it, but it really doesn't matter because it's, it's snug. It is snug in there. Because there is some gaps, I am just gonna put a little bit more of the like cardboard just down in the corners, just in case. Again, I could use anything to be packaging like the gaps. I still have loads of like um, packaging materials, but I just can't be bothered to get them down. So I'm just using what I have in easy reach. And then I'm just gonna seal it up. I think I fixed the tape for now and I'm just going to seal this up now so package it go this way now. there we go all packaged I'm gonna what I will do is I'll draw some like arrows on it and obviously put her address on there and I will get it shipped out and I will see you when I'm opening my package. Hey gang, it is the next day. I've just got home from work and my package was waiting for me. So I'm gonna open it with you all. I'm excited. <laughs> so what it's looking like inside. Michaela always packages so well. What is that? That's not the plant I swapped for. Michaela, did you put something extra in here? Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. She's so naughty. Wow. Look at that variegation. I was not expecting this. Um, I think this is just like the variegated philodendron, like Hartley philodendron. I can't remember the like full name of it. Wow. I was not expecting that. <gasps> wow. Oh my goodness. She's so naughty. <laughs> Oh. 
Okay, onto the plant that I was expecting. Me and Michaela package plants really similar. But uh, she definitely does a better job. Looks neater. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. <gasps> oh my goodness <gasps> wow so i think i think this is an anthurium warroquianum crossed with is it water birion how stunning they're like chunky long leaves wow I'm a little bit speechless I might I think I'm gonna send Michaela something extra I just feel like she, I've got a better deal here and I, I hate that <laughs> I feel like I owe her I'm definitely going to send Michaela something extra. But these are what I got. So this is what I traded for and she put in a little bit of a surprise. I wasn't expecting it. I'm really, really happy. Thank you, Michaela. Okay, that was definitely unexpected. I don't do trades that often and I feel like Michaela beat me at it. I'm definitely going to send her a little something extra. I'll have to have a little rummage. She's got such an amazing collection though. I don't know what I've got that she hasn't got. I'm going to have a rummage. I'll put on the screen what I sent to her. <laughs> Let's chat in the comments. I would love to know if you've done any trading of plants, what your best trade was. If you haven't ever traded, but if you would like to, I'd also love to hear. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.